Today we will talk about intervals. What is an interval? It is a distance between two notes. When we look at the piano keyboard, two keys or two notes can be close to each other or far apart. Intervals stand at the foundation of how music works. Every two notes in a melody or a chord make an interval. Knowing the intervals and being able to recognize them quickly in the score or by ear will significantly speed up your reading, memorization, and will be helpful when you're trying to compose, improvise, or learn a song by ear. For example, C to D is a second. C to E is a third because it fits C, D, and E. C to F is a fourth. C to G is a fifth. C to A is a sixth. C to B is a seventh. And C to the next C is an octave. The repetition of the same note is also an interval that indicates zero change and is called a unison, or the same sound. Notes in intervals can be played together or one after another. When played together, the notes form a harmonic interval that can also be treated as a chord with missing notes. When the notes are next to each other, they form a melody, therefore they are called melodic intervals. Each interval has a unique sound quality. For example, it is impossible to confuse the beginning of the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow which opens with an octave, with the beginning of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star that opens with a fifth. Or Here Comes the Bride that opens with a fourth. Or Row Row Your Boat that begins with a unison and continues with seconds. Five-finger scale is a good shortcut to remember intervals up to a fifth. It contains a second, a third, a fourth, and a fifth.